Hi guys, this is my 68mm personal cannon. Hang on, let's see who this is. Oh, it's the wife. Hello dear. Right. Okay, let's try again. Hi guys, I thought I'd uh, give you a demo on my 68mm personal cannon, uh, tennis ball cannon. <clears throat> I've had quite a few questions and inquiries about it, mostly through my email. I've had one or two questions on Facebook, so I thought I'd show you how it works. Okay, so I'm going to start from the barrel end. Um, I'm not going to go right into tiny specifics because it just takes too long. Basically, the barrel is aircraft aluminium. It's about three quarters of a metre long. It's got um, a bore diameter of 68 millimetre with a wall thickness of about 3.5 mil. A tennis ball is just a little over 68 mil. So it fits quite snugly down the barrel. And when down the barrel, the tennis ball sits about inch and a half from the breech. Okay, so that's the barrel. The barrel's secured to the breech via a 68 to 110 uh, plumbing coupling. And I've used all plumbing on this gun. Um, that's just standard reducer, which is PVC. I've chosen PVC because it's a strong, really strong plastic. Um, I've got a Jubilee clip and two restraints either side of the barrel coupling and some screws holding it on. That's never ever going to come off. Okay, so moving on, we've got just a standard 110 sleeve. Okay, and the breech is made from, again, PVC, it's all 110. And I've got the um, piece of 110 pipe inside as well. So it's double lined, because I obviously didn't want the um, explosion that takes place in here to rupture this, otherwise I wouldn't be here today. Um, underneath here, I've got um, 9 volts of 40 kV sparker. And that produces a spark through these two electrodes which I've got either side of my breech. Okay, it's a bit like a spark plug in a car. On top here there's a, a gas entry valve because this baby runs on gas. Um, I've used um, the kids water pistol modified for grip. I've made a trigger guard and I've got obviously a trigger. <laughs> this box here controls the um, exhaust evacuation from the breech. Basically, once you fire it, um, I chose butane. That's what it runs on, just normal lighter gas. I chose butane because butane has four hydrogen molecules, uh, which makes it burn really easy um, in air. Um, there's probably, I don't know, one, two parts, 200% air. That's the mix, so basically, when I inject it, I'm only pressurising it for well, oh, two to three hundredth of a second. That's all you need. What this box does is uh, a switch on top. Um, once I've fired the gun, I open the valve at the back here, which I made. This is made from uh, bulletproof macrolon. So the white is open. So when we turn it on, that's bringing fresh air via a PC fan. Inside I've used the Pentium 4 fan, that's all it is. And you turn it on and it sucks air in through there. Passes nice clean air all the way through the breech right to the end of the barrel. We have that on for a couple of seconds and then we just change that over to fire. This blocks the holes off so none of the gases escape while it fires. And then basically we put our tennis ball in down to the breech. Uh, 200 millisecond, 300 of a second injection of gas, and then boom! That's Gully V Star, baby. Um, and that's it, basically. That's all there is to it. There's a laptop strap there, um, just makes it easy for loading and handling while you're out and about. It's quite heavy. Um, I think that's about it. You'll fire a standard 68mm tennis ball probably two, three hundred plus yards out, um, which is more enough, more than far enough to have some fun with. And uh, we can fire it straight up in the, in the air. 
great for the dog to chase. Right then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and um, I'll catch you later. Cheers guys.